There have been more than 250 overdose deaths in Baltimore so far this year. And because of this, the city is suing big pharmaceutical companies they say have been involved in the ongoing epidemic. City solicitor Andre Davis says the number of overdose deaths in the city is higher than all of the state's jurisdictions combined. If you uh, enhance the difficulties we already encounter with narcotic addiction in our city by fraudulently issuing and paying doctors to issue prescriptions and creating a black market for additional opioids, the Baltimore City Law Department, together with our uh, outside law partners, stand ready to come after you, to seek redress, and to go to the judiciary to ask for relief that we believe we're entitled to. So we appreciate Davis says the company's reporting shows without much doubt that they have been involved in fostering, dispensing, distributing, encouraging and bribing doctors to put highly addictive drugs on city streets. A judge is delaying the trial of the man charged with killing five Capital Gazette employees until November, a deadline for attorneys to change his plea to not criminally responsible by reason of insanity was extended as well as the defense evaluates what an attorney described as his client's bizarre behavior and a history of mental illness. Anne Arundel County Circuit Court Judge Michael Wax has delayed the trial after conferring with attorneys on both sides who agreed the postponement. Jury selection will begin on October 30th. The trial is scheduled to last until November 15th. Baltimore County Police are still looking for the driver who hit and killed a 12-year-old in Catonsville. Officials released this picture of Maria Popal today. She turned 12 a month before she died. Her pregnant aunt was also hit. She's still recovering from her injuries. The crash happened on March 22nd. The two were crossing North Rolling Road. Investigators believe the suspect car was a 1990 to 93 Honda Accord with the black stripe or trim across the doors. If you know anything, please give police a call. And as we continue through the evening, we are expecting clouds and rain showers to be around and we'll see that as we start the day out on Friday. If you're planning to travel anywhere, watch out for those showers in the afternoon toward the inner harbor. We'll have temperatures in the upper 40s and by the late afternoon, we'll have temperatures reach the low 50s, but wet weather out there. So Friday will be a wet day and then eventually as we head towards Saturday, we are expecting conditions to dry out with more sunshine. Temperatures down to about 45 degrees and then cloudy and cool conditions. Rain west by the time we get to dawn and as we look at the seven day forecast wet weather out there as we head through friday saturday we're talking about a shower out there and then sunday a shower in the morning for saturday and then sunday we are expecting dry conditions temperatures in the 60s and then monday storm chances out there and that continues into parts of tuesday stick with us online at wmer2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news and for news and weather while you're on the go download the wmer2 app in your phone's app store you can get live radar and breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.